I'm going to set up a D-Link DIR615 router as a slave router to extend my wireless network coverage. Put one end of your network cable into the modem, the other end into the internet socket in your slave router. You can disconnect your master router at the moment. Go to the login page. If you ain't got a, a password, leave it blank and click login. Click on the advanced tab. QoS engine. Shouldn't be out ticked in here. Don't forget to save your settings. Advanced network. Untick the boxes, save your settings. Advanced wireless. Bandwidth, set it to 20 stroke 40. If you have it only set on 20, you'll find end standard devices will have trouble connecting. Or connecting to the internet or running. They won't run very well. Save your settings. Firewall and DMZ. Nothing to do in here. All. Leave them all unticked. Click on Setup tab. Wireless Setup. Manual Setup. You can tick that box if you want. It allows Windows to create a password for you. I think it's more secure if you leave it unticked and create your own passwords. Obviously enable the wireless. The wireless network name, that should be the same as you have in the master router, your main router. It's the same name. The channel 1, 6 and 11 seem to be best, but make sure the channel is a different number to your main router. Otherwise it could uh, conflict with it. Uh, you can tick this box if you want, but I've found that some mobile phones have trouble finding the network if it's hidden, so I would personally leave it unticked, but it is your choice. Security mode, that'll be the same as your main router. Cipher type, PSK1, set that the same as your main router. Your network key, that's your wireless network password, that should be the same as your main router. Save your settings. This is purely optional. The admin password is the password it lasts for when you try and log into your router. You can leave it blank if you want. I would disable the remote management, it's more secure. The graphical authentication is a poxy capture box you get when you log in, but it's only there on the firmware version, the latest firmware version, which at the moment is 4.14. So you can either get rid of it or, uh, or not, it's up to you. Save your settings. Internet setup. Manual setup. Disable the access point mode, untick the box. Save your settings, of course. Go to the LAN setup. Now your router IP address, set the last two numbers 
between 50 and 59 and that will be your login address for this slave router so don't forget to write it down I found if I untick the DNS relay I couldn't connect to the internet so leave that ticked untick DHCP server nothing to do there save your settings the time and date this is purely optional you'll find you can't set all this if you've got the old software because the year only goes up to about 2011 so you'll need the newest software to set the date but it's purely optional it's up to you whether you want it or not save your settings and log out this is what you should have at the end you've got your modem with one end of your network cable plugged into it the other end of your network cable goes into the internet socket on your master router and then another network cable goes from a LAN socket on your master router to a LAN socket on your slave router and that's it and then you're good to go and uh, that should be it